Hey friends, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. So I have most of my nail polish wall done. <laughs> I have my OPI, Orly, Morgan Taylors, and miscellaneous polishes over on this side, and all of my Essie polishes behind me. They are not quite yet organized by color, but for the most part, they're kind of close to where they need to be. So it's feeling uh, so much better. I'm still working on like the lighting situation and the sound and everything else here in the new house. It's going to be a process. So thank you guys for putting up with this process and still watching my videos. <laughs> so today I'm going to be reviewing a, a winter collection thus the Christmas sweater. <laughs> I love pulling my Christmas sweater out at this time of year as I'm doing reviews for all of the winter collections. So you'll probably catch me wearing this quite a few times throughout the season because I love it. <laughs> so today I'm sharing with you guys the new Morgan Taylor Winter 2023 collection. This is the On My Wishlist collection. It's currently available at Beyond Polish. You guys know I have an affiliate code with Beyond Polish. That code is BFE10 for 10% off. You guys also know that I greatly appreciate you guys for using my code if you do choose to use it. These polishes were sent to be compliments of Beyond Polish and I am loving these. This is such a gorgeous collection. I love the finishes of these. You guys know I love Morgan Taylor. I love Morgan Taylor's brushes, their formulas, everything about them. So I can't wait to share these with you guys. And then stay tuned, I will be sharing the giveaway winner throughout the swatches, so stay tuned for that. It's the giveaway winner for the Orly Spice It Up collection. Thank you to all of you who entered. Stay tuned for more giveaways. As I reach 10,000 subscribers on YouTube, I'm planning to do another giveaway or more giveaways throughout that time period, so stay tuned. And without further ado, let's get right to these polishes. All right, you guys, so getting right into these. First up here, we have a Wrapped Around Your Finger. Wrapped Around Your Finger is described as a vanilla cream. I feel like this one does have a little bit of a yellow tone to it. So you guys will see coming up here in the comparisons how it compares to some more yellow toned Essie polishes. This one is a two to three coater. I did two coats here in the live swatch and then I also did two coats in the swatch photo. But I feel like if you do have longer nails or you do thinner coats, you may want to go ahead and do a third coat. Here you can see how the polish looks in different lighting. So in the sunlight outside and then under my studio lighting. And then here you can see how it looks indoors under no special lighting at all. Comparisons. Here we have OPI Coastal Sanctuary. OPI My Vampire is Buff and Morgan Taylor Tweed Me. You can see no dupes there. Next up here we have Essie Cut It Out. Essie Expressi Daily Grind. I thought this was going to be a bit more similar than it actually is, but you can see they are different. And then Essie Coconut Cove was quite a bit whiter. And then here we have Essie in my sandbox, had more pink in it. And then here, Essie Sing Songbird Along is the more yellow tone polish. You can see it does have a little bit more yellow in it, but it is somewhat similar. And then Orly Sissy Ne Pas Blanc. Did I say that right? <laughs> it is a little bit lighter. Okay, next up in one of my faves from this collection, this is Gift It Your Best. And this polish is so perfect for winter time. This is described as an icy blue pearl. This goes on like butter. It's, it's so, so good. You guys pick this one up. I know a lot of you guys don't like pearl finishes or metallic finishes. I guess this is a pearl, but this one, it glows on your nails. It's so freaking pretty. And it builds up so nicely with two coats. It's actually pretty opaque with one coat. But man, it's so fun to apply. You might as well apply a second coat. <laughs> okay, and here you can see how it looks in different lighting. So you can see how it looks here in the sunlight. And then under studio lighting. And then here you can see how it looks in indoor lighting. And you can see it literally glows on your nails. Okay, and then comparisons. Here we have Essie from A to Z, Orly Ascension, and ILMP Shooting Star. No dupes there. And then I wanted to pull out Orly Lost Treasure so you can see how those two compare. Okay, next up, another absolutely gorgeous polish. This is Before My Berry Eyes, and it has kind of the same formula as the blue polish does. Before My Berry Eyes is described as a premium purple metallic. So, okay, I guess this one is a metallic versus the other one being a pearl. But you guys can see, it applies so gorgeously. 
You might have some streaks on both this polish and the blue polish, but I don't think it even matters because these polishes are so pretty. Here you can see how the polish looks in different lighting. So outdoors in the sunlight is pure magic. And then indoors under studio lighting. And then here you can see it's just as gorgeous inside with no special lighting. Comparisons, here we have Morgan Taylor. It's all about the twill. Essie Girly Grunge, which I love that polish. And then Orly Forward Momentum, so you can see how those compare. Okay, next up, another absolute fave. God, Morgan Taylor, his, their collections are so good. So this is a Ready to Jingle. This is described as a red rose pearl, and it's an absolute one coat wonder that will make your jaw drop. You guys, this is so freaking stunning. Pick this one up. Like, you need this one. It's so pretty. Even if you don't like pearls, you're going to like this one. I promise. Maybe. Let me know if you don't. <laughs> okay, here you can see how it looks in different lighting. So indoors with no special lighting, and then under studio lighting, and then outdoors under the sunlight is freaking heaven. And then comparisons. Here we have Olive Ave Garnet, OPI I'm Not Really a Waitress, and OPI Nature Strong Raising Your Voice. So you can see how those compare. They do all look pretty similar under this lighting. And you may not be able to notice the difference from a distance, but either way, Ready to Jingles formula makes this one a must-have. And then I pulled out some polishes that are a little bit more red. So here we have OPI Kiss My Aries and SE Scarlet O'Hara, so you can see how those compare. Okay, next up, and this is probably my least favorite from this collection, just because I feel like it's more of a fall polish than a winter polish. This is Bad to the Bow. This is described as an olive shimmer, and it's gorgeous. It's absolutely stunning, and I think it's perfect for fall. I just won't be wearing this in the winter. I wish it was more of a cool tone polish for winter, I think. But either way, like I said, it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that shimmer. It's opaque in two coats. And then here you can see how it looks in different lighting. So outdoors and the sunlight. And indoors under my studio lighting. And then indoors with no special lighting. And comparisons. Here we have SC Sweater Weather. SC High Voltage Vinyl. And China Glaze 24K Noir. So you can see how those compare. And then Zoya Murphy. Orly Breathable Faux Fur and OPI Deck to the Pines so you can see how those compare. And you guys, thank you so much for submitting your request for comparisons. It makes it so much easier for me to kind of narrow down which polishes you guys really want to see. And I also want to share the winner of the Orly Breathable Spice It Up giveaway is... Michelle Parker. Congrats, Michelle. Go ahead and send me an Instagram message. And if you don't want to contact me that way, you can shoot me an email at brandy at livewithbiv.com and we will coordinate getting these absolute beauties to you. Congrats, girl. Okay, last but not least, here we have 100 Present Yes. This polish is another stunner. This is described as a purple charcoal cream. It's an easy two coater and it's a polish that I love to wear in the fall and winter. It's so gorgeous and once again, fabulous formula. And then here you can see how it looks in different lighting. So outdoors in the sunlight, you can see it's a bit more charcoal. Indoors under studio lighting, it looks a bit more purple. And then indoors with no special lighting, you can see it looks a bit more charcoal. So this is why I like to show you guys polishes in different lighting because different lighting makes the biggest impact on how your polish is actually going to look. So just as a little side note. Okay, and comparisons. Here we have Essie Winning Streak, Essie Smokin' Hot, and Essie Merino Cool. I would say Smokin' Hot is the closest, but it's not, Smokin' Hot doesn't have as much charcoal in it. And then here we have SE Home by 8 was darker. OPI Chronological Order was a bit more brownie mauve. And then SE Generation Zen had a bit less charcoal in it. So yeah, there we go. All right, guys, so what did you think of this collection? Let me know in the comments down below, and then stay tuned. I have more winter collections coming for you guys. I'm going to have the first ILMP winter collection soon. I will also have the Orly collection soon, so stay tuned for those. And then many, many more polishes because I'm obsessed with polish, and I'm a polish hoarder. <laughs> All right, you guys, hope you have an absolutely fabulous morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is. Make it great. All right, love you guys. Bye.